great i'm sure you have seen the previous video where i have explained uh, explained about the mendeley software that it has the main library its interface i talked about all these folders i talked that you can make the tags or you can search by author and all these things now i would like to tell you how you can use the how can use how you can use this software for your research first of all you need to download the mendeley you can go to mendeley.com you can see the site from here we will go to the mendeley.com you will find this thing that uh, create a free account now it's important to note that this software is totally free you can use it uh, whatever the way you want to use it uh, you can add maximum file there's no limit on the files and uh, you can create an account over here and you can download the software from here you will click on the download if you have uh, desktop for windows then you can click here and you can download the file if you have a mic you can download the desktop uh, Mendeley desktop so it has like web importer tool it has citation plugin with it so you have to just download this file from here you will click on it you will automatically download it for example if I click on it so you can see from here is downloading it's downloading over here is just 54 MB file so I will cancel it as I already have it but you will download it completely and then you will install it so this is the first thing I wanted to tell you that you can how, how you can download it the other thing is once your software is downloaded you need to have a sign in you need to have a log login so that if you are working on the software on computer or you are working uh, somewhere else like you live in some other country you go to home you change your computer you have a different computer at home you have different computer at work or two people or three people are working on a same project then you can make the login for the login in the Mendeley it will direct you to elsewhere site because the Mendeley is owned by the elsewhere this is my uh, login and this is my password I will just uh, sign in because I am already signed in so it will direct me to the mendeley.com new feeds now this mendeley library you will find uh, mendeley is a complete website it's just like social sites or research gate if you have used like it will give you the all the feeds it will give you the library this is my library it shows directly my library like these items are suggested for me it gives me uh, the citations update it's uploading my library I will just cancel it you can see this is my library like uh, I can see all my articles which I uploaded 2324 remember I was uploading uh, I was just when I was viewing the software this software that 2003 uh, 24 documents I have if I add a new document over here it will automatically after syncing I need to sync this I need to press the sync button on my computer it will automatically update it in my online profile so I do not need uh, any uh, I, sh and, um, I, I there's no need to worry because the Mendeley is automatically up, uh, updating and keeping the record of my computer copies so this is something very great so beside that you can also search on the online library like I can search for Muhammad Farooq and whatever articles I found I can copy from here like roll of bottom mouth these articles are already there but just in case I want to go to the feed and, and I, I want to search a new article because some people are supposed their articles on um, Mendeley so we can find their articles for example i want to search the impact of ott on telecom 
companies in the era of transformative marketing. So you can see it has given me many articles. If some article is already in your library, it will tell you that it's already in lib your library or you can see in on the transformative marketing there's only one article so let me see i will remove this transformative marketing because this is my own article i will just add it to the library and just i want to show you that how it's automatically uh, uploaded in my mendeley in my mendeley fact of ott and telecom companies now i will have like multiple arti uh, articles this impact of OTT on uh, telecom companies this is written by Sujata so I will also add into my library I have impact of organization culture like organization performance impact of OTT on telecom companies in the era of transformative marketing now this is my article this is already ended references added over here so now if I like uh, impact of training and development and employee performance through the job satisfaction a study on telecom sector of pakistan if i add this on my library i just added it now i will go to the my softwares over here and then i will just refresh it if i just refresh my software of mendeley so then i can see the articles which i have just added it will like it's updating over here which you can see it's syncing the online so anything you put offline from your file from your uh, computer uh, app computer app computer software it will automatically go to the to the online but if you add something on the online it will automatically go to the computer when you sync it so this Khan Afaq Ahmed Abbas this article we just added online on the Google over here we just added it it is automatically added in our referencing file so this is how you download the software you make a login and then you keep your library updated just to give you an example that how you can update the articles i will search uh, some uh, articles for you so that you see the the way how i am searching the articles and how I'm downloading the articles and those articles you can also use as I'm giving a example of my profile let's go to my profile we will download one article we will upload it in the Mendeley and I will tell how it is updated For example, you like some article, we like this article, you can open it, okay, uh, let's download it, from here I can download it, I will download it, so this, is this article as you can see is downloaded with uh, my software, I can just simply drag and drop it in my in my Mendeley software beside behind this there's my Mendeley software I just dragged and dropped it you can see searching for the duplicates in your library it will search for the duplicates the duplicates are already found but I will just ignore it I just wanted to show you that how it will pick the file so it will pick the file the service quality of private universities in the Malaysia it has picked the complete file now I just want to check that what are the details which this software is giving me it has told me this is Muhammad Farooq Khalil Rahman. This is just in case you know uh, you want to be sure that the article has correct details. You can just click search on the on the software like this way. This DUI every article has a unique DUI. You can just apply for its lookup. Now it's saying lookup successful. You can say it will update the correct results from the DUI database for example I have I will change its name like ABC now you we know that this title is wrong but we want to make sure that everything is correct we will just click on this DUI 
it will automatically again update the title again update the authors so the point is if you are uploading some file the chances are that it can have a different name over here different name over here different name over here so to avoid that problem you can simply uh, see the details just once and then rest of the job is done by Mendeley another way is that some people which recommend for example I would like to search one article the same article impact of OTT on telecom some people recommend that uh, do not upload the file because sometime the file does not contain the exact bibliographic details therefore they say download the citation file so every article you go for has a citation file for example this article this is my article impact of OTT and telecom published by Springer so I what I want to do I want they, they tell you that cite it as so they are saying that site is like this way Farooq and this global journal this is the DOI of the article so just in case you just have the DOI of any article you want to add it in your library to uh, put it as a, as, a, as a reference so what you can do you can simply go to the software okay over here you will go to the add entry manually you will just you do not need to write anything you will just write ABC ABC okay save so new entry ABC has been done you will just put the, go to the DOI this is just one way you will apply the lookup looks like I copied something on the DOI incomplete let me check it again this is the impact of OTT on telecom companies where is the DOI So we need the DOI of the file site as yes this is the DOI so we copied the wrong DOI I will copy the DOI and then a DOI will automatically update this ABC record try it again because maybe I'm not copying it oh sorry it's here till from here till here so the DOI was also given below we were not copying the complete DOI so you can see just it said that this DOI link is successful so I just searched it it says successful now it's successful it has a we just wrote ABC so it has uh, gathered all the information the page number the general number and everything now you might be thinking why it is important uh, why all these these type of references are important on how you can use it in the references so now I will go to in the next uh, video I will talk about how you can insert these references into your word file I will explain you how you can connect the Mendeley with the word file and write your complete thesis write a complete research paper or a research proposal or a PhD thesis so I will also explain that there are different type of like uh, for the formatting of the uh, citation how you can use it I hope uh, I have explained everything which is relevant to Mendeley over here